What if I were to tell you your ski resort is a ticking time bomb? One shift and boom, you're in a full-blown avalanche. If you're caught in one of these 80 mile per hour cascades, how do you survive? Avalanches kill an average of 20 Americans per year. The deadliest ones though are hard to believe. In 1970, 30,000 people died from an avalanche turned mudslide in Peru. It wiped out 10 towns. In World War I, Austro-Hungarian and Italian troops intentionally set off avalanches above the opposition. In total, up to 10,000 soldiers died in the Dolomites over five days. Now, these were caused by an earthquake and a world war, respectively. But in reality, 93% of US avalanche fatalities are caused by the victim or the victim's party. That means skiers, snowboarders, and hikers alike. The most deaths come from slab avalanches, where a slab of snow thousands of cubic meters big slides down the mountain. They're common, hidden by unstable snow layers deep in the pack. One solution? Avalanche control teams who set off these avalanches before they hurt people. Another solution is obviously preparedness. If you're ever caught in one, make sure to cover your mouth so you have a larger air pocket to breathe. And always carry avalanche gear. You can see avalanche risk for any given mountain range in the US using the MyRadar app so you can stay prepared before you even step outside. Stay safe on your next ski trip.